Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and here I am with another uh, Lego Technic Robo Riders review, and this one's on the Robo Rider Minis from 2000. And as you kind of know, that I did do reviews of some of the of all the Robo Rider sets a while back, but at least haven't gotten around to getting these for a bit. But here I am, and here we are. But yeah. So here's the four, which, which I'm going to cover in set number order, starting out with the Volcano Climber. Which, as you can see, the main thing that you'll notice from first glance is the same exact headpiece as Lava kind of does, but although I think that the the name Lava on here should have been at least off of that, since this is a different uh, one model, of course. But of course, kind of hard to notice, but yeah. And of course, flame bits on here, still quite nice, as obviously. And also these few Technic pieces around here, like coat hang, like the coat hanger bracket pieces, but in light red. Which is nice to use for mocking. And also for mocking are the semi rubberish wheels, like we saw on a Turbo Robo Rider, or I mean Throwbots in the Throwbots Slicers line. And of course, the old style rubber band pieces for the main function where you kind of duck it down a bit, kind of like all the Robo Rider sets kind of did. And, uh, kind of fun for that. And as for this upper part, which which is a small tube piece on there, not sure what that's supposed to be for, but whatever. But, so, overall, at least he's kind of alright, but, and also the only one, all these with traditional four wheels for that, and also with an app feature like that, but yeah. And so now, on to... Dirt bike, which also see with the consistent colors you have black and yellow, just like with power, and also obviously is the same headpiece as power kind of did, and, and also similar ducking feature, but which is kind of has a gear worm feature like some of the like couple of sets like frost and. Uh, Dust well, did, and I think also Power did as well. Yeah, he did, and also he does roll quite well, but also has a little different kind of little Technic wheels on there. But it's held on by like one side of Technic beaming, although it would have been nice if if this assembly. Or rather, this assemblage here could have been on the other side, which would make it perfectly symmetrical. But maybe you can do that by yourself. But yeah. And also these extra bits on here, which are probably just miscellaneous. Not sure what for, but whatever. Right, and so now that's about it with Dirt Bike. And now on to Ice Explorer. Which kind of an interesting one, where not at all a any wheels on him, but instead is kind of a flyer one. Even though the boss one also kind of was, well, one of the main models of it, of him. But yeah. And of course, all the first standout is the same exact headpiece that Frost kind of had. But also with the uh, lightsaber rod. A kind of pieces probably acting as uh, gun black guns or blasters on both sides and also does have the regular hybrid system pieces as uh, pontoons or so or just landing gear for that although I think you could add on some like white grill pieces on both sides add a little extra detail onto it but also as you can see it little gear mechanism here where 
to turn this and makes the light spin. And it's kind of odd on how it's just Technic beams or Technic axle rods. That's all that I think would have been nice. And also, we that they're in black. I think these could have been better in white, or at least have one of those have this Technic bit on here on there. On those as well, add a bit of extra blue to that, but that's just me. But also on the back part, which has this smaller beam part acting as the tail of the propeller for that. And so I guess that's about it with Frostbite. And now on to Swamp Craft, which, as you can see, the same exact headpiece as Swamp did, kind of does, but also he, which probably, but also with large wheel kind of pieces, also like him, but he, which the only set out of the quad to still use the, it's kind of, the actual wheel pieces of all of them. So now you're probably wondering, where's the extra fourth uh, lightsaber rod for the blaster bits? Well. I kind of dropped it and left out, but uh, I'll get it back eventually, but yeah. But also with these ones, which they are well adjustable, so can make him kind of hover around the swamp waters, of course. Or be upwards like that, or like so. And from the back side, which is these little different style Technic beams, which barely see much nowadays, but at least nice to see here. But, and also the same wheel pieces as the lob, as Lava cl Climber also had, but at least all of which roll quite well. And from the bottom view, at least have a couple of Technic axle rods sticking out there, but at least it's still well hidden. Also, I think for color scheme wise, I think these pieces these could have been better in lime green or re even regular green. But, but yeah. And now on to all the sets together and the final verdict. So overall, I think these which are kind of fair good sets of the Roller Riders, but yeah, but although it has four instead of being like having all six, like in, like there's like there's no Dust One or Onyx One here, but even though you could uh, make your own box of that if you wanted, but yeah, but at least these kind of worked out as small sets to go alongside with the larger sets. Well. Just like we have with Turaga, Borak Fa, and Matoran, and Rahaga, all of which come, that came in all most of the years of Bionicle, but at least kind of see that going on in the one of the precursors lines, of course, but yeah. So at least, but they also did work out as good Technic parts packs, of which for like the uh, beams and rods and things. So, or especially with Lava Climber with uh, special Technic pieces in red, but yeah. And, and so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Brickling, Mercari, whatever. And so now for next next throwback Thursday, you're probably wondering, what about Spionicle once? Well, stay tuned for that. That'll be next next throwback Thursday, but yeah. Oh, which, yeah, for that. And, and that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.